Hello guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this video so you guys can watch how to create blank journal um, pages in Canva. All right, so my name is Roz and I've been using Canva for so long now, probably for about a good seven years. Literally, I think the year after that they came out, I've been using Canva. So I'm pretty familiar and I'm pretty good in Canva. So I just wanted to, because some people ask, how do they create journal pages? So I wanted to show you guys in this video how you guys can create journal pages yourself, all right? And I also will include templates for you guys that you guys can also download as well. If you guys, let's say, you know, you're too busy where you don't want to create yourself, and you can definitely just uh, get the um, journal pages that I have attached down below. All right, guys, so now let's get started, and let's go to... Um, Give me one moment. Let's go pull up Canva. Oh, why is this not working? All right. So now let's go pull up Canva. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. Alrighty then. So now let's go. Let me share my screen so you guys can see me on the bottom of the. Well, you guys are gonna see it um being shared. All right, so now here we go. Let's go to canva.com. Let's go to canva.com, okay? So now when it comes to journal pages, you want to use an 8.5 times 11. Well, it depends. Let's say if that's what you would want to, um, let's say that's a sheet that you want, like a regular eight by five sheet, you know, like the regular ones that's on the computer that you use for computers. So that's what you would be using. Um, but of course you can do it whatever size you want, but we're just gonna do it with that. So when it comes to camera, you just go here. You can either type in US letter document. It pops up here, or you can just go to create a design and it pops up here, or you can also search for it as well over here. You can just keep going. You see there, go right there. So whatever you guys wanna do, you know, you can just use that. So let's go to create blank. <clears throat> All right, so now we have it opened, right? <clears throat> so now we have it open. We have our document open and you always name your document. So let's say this is going to be, um, um, well, let's say practice. I don't know why I'm not typing that. All right, so let's say just um, sample, let's say. For some reason, but I don't know why that key wasn't working. Okay, so sample journal pages. All right, so you name your, and then right here, you can either do this big or we can do it small. So right here, you can just drag and play. So let's do it about here so you guys can see it. Let's do it a little small so you guys can see what I'm doing. It's a little smaller. Okay, perfect. All right, so now if you want, um, you would just go to elements and you would just type a line because we're creating a, a, um, a blank document, right? So you would just, you would either type in here or you would just go to lines here. So what I want to do is create a dotted journal page. All right. So you can just go to elements. You just type in dotted lines. Okay. So now there are these lines. So you can choose from whichever line you want. So let's say we want this one. Let's look at this, because if we take this, this would be too too big. You see what I'm saying? So let's delete this and let's go with this one. I like this size. And let's, oops. So now we're gonna drag this up front like this. And of course we want to change. So let's say we want like a light gray, let's say. So now it's light gray. And now if we drag this, if you notice it gets bigger. So let's say we don't want it to be this big, then we can just keep it like this. Sometimes it lets you shrink it, but it won't let you shrink it. So let's delete this. So, all right, so let's leave this here, right? And let's go get another one. So I can show, show you guys the difference. You see how big this one is and how small this one is? So let's say I wanted this small. What we can do is, let's also change it right here. You would just change your color. 
just click on it and change the color to say we want the gray, right? And we want it this small. But if you guys want to see how small or how big they are, all you have to do is just increase this right here so we can see what it really looks like. So these are fairly big. So I want to keep it this size. So let's go back down. So let's delete this right here because we want to keep this one. Okay. So now, of course, because we're doing like a regular eight by five journal, so we're going to follow the guidelines that Canva has. So all you have to do is just drag this and a purple line is going to pop up. Any day now, there it go. Okay, so you see where the purple line is? That just tells where the margins is and that's like the exact. So let's say we want this about here, right? So notice, right, when we um, had it, it, didn't, it doesn't reach all right here. What you can do is just double this. You can double this line and because remember, if we dragged it, it made it bigger. It made the little dots bigger, but if we want the little dots to stay small, then we have to duplicate this right here. You would just go right here. You'll click duplicate. And if you notice, and all you have to do is just drag this like this. Notice now you see how the purple lines match up. So now it is perfectly even exactly as we wanted it. But also just make sure this matches. They're even. Okay, and let's say we pull this just a little bit because we don't want the lines to overlap or the little dots, not lines, but okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so now that's perfect, right? So now what we can do, if we're gonna redo this, you would just highlight it Oh, actually, there's a little gap here. So now let's push it over. There's other ways to make the lines as well. I'll do that in another video, but this way I just want to keep it. Just want to teach you one thing at a time. I'm not sure why I want it to be perfect. Okay. It's taking us a little longer. Don't know why. Don't know why. Hope you guys having a beautiful day. But then again, I don't think it really matters because I don't think the person would um would really see the difference. I don't know why it's acting up though. Hmm. <sighs> Comment down below where you guys are from. I'm from New York, so it's a little chilly here today. Um, okay, so now what we can do, right? We can just drag this, highlight it with your keyboard, and we can just click again, duplicate, right? But when we do that, what you have to also do is do group because we want this to be grouped together, if you understand what I'm saying. We want it to be grouped together because when it's grouped together, where we, when we duplicate it again, it um it won't get um it, it won't get messed up. So right now they're evenly. So now if you want, you can push it down, and if you notice a little purple line, it tells you. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's say we want more pages, right? All you have to do is go like this. Just keep duplicating, keep duplicating, and. And remember, you can space it however you want to, like this. And now we can do the same thing again. Now we're gonna duplicate all of it. Duplicate again and bring it down. Okay. And you literally can, now we can just do it. The big blob, the big block, <laughs> like this. But let's say we wanted the lines to be closer. All you would have to do is literally, let's say you want the lines like this. That's literally all you would have to do. So it all depends, or let's say you want them to be further. So literally it's up to you how you want the line space. But let's say we do that, do we do it like that, right? And, 
And then, so now let's say we're going to add one more line. Now you would just highlight that and just duplicate that one line. Click duplicate and you just bring it down like that instead of carrying, you know, copying the whole thing. That's literally how you would do the dotted line. So all you have to just go to search dotted lines and there they go. And let's say we want a, the journal to have like a place where you can put the date. So we would have to just go to the same thing the, um, because right now, remember, these are grouped together. So if it's grouped together, then it won't let me um, just use one side. So we can just go back to elements and click the same thing where we were, bring it up like this, right? And now change the color to gray. So now the person, or, you know, you can just put in the date here. Let's say, you know, today is April 26th. You just write it here, April 26th. And then you just, and this is your journal page. This is literally your journal page. And if you want, let's say you want to add a quote down here, you'll just go do text. And we would just add, let's say we want a little script. Bring it down, right? So notice you see the purple line. So, and you see how where the gray line is, and there's a little bit of purple left. Because because we're gonna, you know, you could print this out. It doesn't really matter where the quote goes, but if you want, then you can just take one, one um one line out. You see that? Take one line out, and then now we just so if you notice now it falls within that purple. Uh, line if you notice that. So now let's say the quote is you are special. Oh, let's put the quotation marks at the beginning and the quotation marks at the end. So let me make this bigger for you guys. So you guys can see you are special. So, and then with these, I see that it's a little, I, I can probably up, you know, fix this a little bit. Cause I really don't like the fact that they overlap. So I can definitely fix that. But so that's the quote, you are special and you can put whatever quote, you know, you want. And let's say you want to make like a 20 page journal, right? So here's what you would do to make it quick, right? To make it quick, uh, you would just go, you see how we duplicated the stuff? We click this one. So now we're gonna duplicate the page, duplicate page. So now this is another page, page two. You see, so page one, page two, right? And we just keep duplicating. Just You can keep duplicating, keep duplicating, keep duplicating. So notice right here, I started with one and now it goes up to five, right? So here's another trick for you to save you time. Click on grid view. Right, notice we have one, two, three, four, five, right? So we have five pages. So for you to, and, and we need 20 pages. So in order for us to do this, here's what we do. And just go here, highlight all of this. Oops. So we're gonna highlight the five pages. Why is it not working? Okay. So we're gonna highlight the five pages, one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to um, right here duplicate five pages, boom. So now we have 10 pages, let's do it again. Since we need 20, boom. So now we have 15 pages, but remember we needed 20. So here you go again, duplicate, boom. So now we have 20 pages within a, a manner of seconds. So now we have 20 pages. So now let's go back and let me make this small so you guys can see. And so now we literally have 20 pages. If you keep going, scroll, 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 and now 20 pages of blank um, journal pages, blank dotted journal pages. It literally is that simple, guys. So, so like I said, I'm going, there's other ways that you can do the lines, but I just want to do this so you guys can see it because I don't want to put too much in one, um, too, too much in one video. I just want you guys to get like a clear, you know, way of doing the journal lines. So all you go is go to elements and type in the lines that you want and you can just get the dotted lines. Okay, so that's how you would do that. And then you just add the quote. If you want to make it bigger, we can do that. 
to whatever you want to do. And like I said, I'll do another one, like an updated one that'll show how you guys can actually add an image to this. So let's say you want to add an image to this page. I can show you guys that too in a separate video. Okay, so that was the video on, that was a video tutorial on how you guys can create dotted journal pages in Canva. I hope, I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, definitely comment down below with your questions and I will answer your questions for you. Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming to this. Um, thank you so much again for tuning into this video and I'll definitely see you guys in another Canva tutorial video so I can show you guys more stuff that you guys can do in Canva. All right, thank you so much.